Just before 2 p.m., the Los Angeles City Fire Department responded here to the 9600 block of Learmere Avenue in the Chatsworth area for a structure fire. When we arrived on scene just down the street, two homes to the right, uh, we did have a single family dwelling, one story with heavy smoke showing. However, it was a unique incident in that we did have multiple reports that there was a person possibly with a gun involved in the house fire. So we were in a defensive posture. We worked very closely with our friends from law enforcement. We did quickly hear multiple shots that were fired uh, when we were on scene. Uh, law enforcement were able to go in and valiantly perform their operation. They did engage that suspect. That suspect was shot. Firefighter paramedics were standing by. We did do a rapid assessment, quickly treated that individual and transported an adult female, approximately 50 years old, to a nearby trauma center in grave condition. Since the threat was no longer, we were able to quickly transition into an offensive operation, meaning that our firefighters went back inside the house with their hose lines, were able to fully extinguish the flames in just 23 minutes. Fortunately, none of the nearby homes that were very close proximity were damaged. Even though this was a well-involved fire, the, the home is completely consumed. We were able to spare those nearby homes for damage. Additionally, out of an abundance of precaution, this school that we're standing in front of that's just a couple hundred feet away from this uh, dynamic incident, we did work with the school police and with the principals out of precaution. We did have a lockdown and evacuation to ensure safety for those students students and then that was able to be quickly lifted because law enforcement did such a swift job. So again the takeaway is that no one else was injured because of this close coordination between the fire department and police department only that suspect was injured the nearby homes were saved and no students were injured. Uh, so at this point I'd like to turn it over to my counterpart which is uh, Commander Stacy Spell from the Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, good afternoon all and uh, mostly I want to thank uh, the fire department and also the Los Angeles School Police Department uh, for their assistance in all of this. Uh, we couldn't have uh, done this without them. Uh, today, as was mentioned, there was a radio call for service where uh, there were indications uh, to our officers that there was a family member who had been confronted uh, by her sister with a uh, firearm. Uh, then that caused a radio call to, to, to be generated. Our officers responded to the scene, and when they got to the scene, uh, they arrived. Fire department was already uh, in place, uh, making efforts to fight the fire. However, uh, we had to make sure that there wasn't a person armed or someone that could do harm to our, our uh, fellow uh, family members in the fire department. Um, so we had officers uh, check within the immediate area, and at some point they made contact with a woman uh, who was identified as a suspect. Uh, after that contact was made, an officer-involved shooting occurred, and uh, that woman was struck by gunfire, and she was transported to a local hospital where she was subsequently uh, declared deceased. So. After that occurred, our officers uh, pulled back. There was still a very active uh, fire going. Um, it was uh, very dangerous conditions. Uh, we were overall mostly worried with the, the public safety, ensuring that uh, we didn't have any other people inside the fire and that it didn't spread or cause further damage to members of the community. Um, after all of that was done, then we were able to go back into an investigative mode where we were able to contain the scene and hold it for uh, investigators. We're currently uh, in a holding pattern for uh, our force investigation division. Um, they're tenured detectives that investigate uh, officer-involved shootings. They're responding out. Uh, some of them are already at scene. They'll be conducting a lengthy investigation, uh, both canvassing for witnesses, looking for physical evidence, um, you know, looking for any kind of uh, video cameras or anything else. We would ask that if the public uh, has any kind of information that they reach out to the Los Angeles Police Department and share that information with us. Uh, what I can tell you also right now is, is that uh, there is no evidence that there are additional suspects, so we want to make sure that the community knows that um, there is no further danger uh, and that you know the scene has been contained. This is an initial um, statement, and what I would say is, is that all the information that we're giving right now is preliminary. Um, it's based on the facts that we know right now. Uh, there will be updates that will be provided as we obtain more information.